Hello, what's cracking? I feel like these videos are very like narcissistic because it's literally all about me, but sometimes I just like talking about me and my thoughts and my opinions and my feelings or whatever, so that's what I'm doing. I did one of those little question poll things on Instagram that just kind of asked what you want to know about me. What did I even say? This is kind of like my assumptions video that I made, but it's a little bit different because you're not assuming things about me, but it's not really like a Q&A either. It's more something that you've wanted to know about me. Also, I'm sorry in advance if I flash you in this dress. As you can see, it goes down very deep and I don't really have the boobs to like fill it. So yeah, let's start. First one is how did you figure out your sexuality? So I really don't like to label myself because I don't think it's something that's important. To me, it is not important, but I guess if you wanted to put me in a label, I would identify as bisexual or pan or whatever because I am just attracted to not everyone obviously because i don't look at everyone and fall in love with them but i think i have the potential to love anyone regardless of race gender sexual orientation sexual whatever i don't even know i don't really care i like who i like and that's about it i get so many questions and people telling me to make videos about it and do whatever i just i don't have anything to say about it i'm very lucky that i grew up with a loving family and loving extended family and friends that they just don't really care and that's not something that's super important to them. I am who I am and that's what's most important and that's really it. I like who I like, but that's really all I have to say about it. I am very aware that I am super uh, lucky because not everyone is in that situation where they can just come out. Um, that is in air quotes because I think coming out is very i don't want to say it's unnecessary because it is necessary for some people i just wish people did not have to do it because it's normal to be literally anything other than straight that's why i don't really say anything about it because i don't have anything to say oh also it was never really something i had like a crisis over i remember when i was little like in elementary school i kind of was questioning whether i liked more than just boys and i remember like laying there at night just like thinking about it for like a really really long time and then eventually being like yep that's how it is. Once again, getting a lot of things about weed and smoking. I don't smoke. I have never hit a vape or a jewel or anything. None of that has changed. Hi, currently editing. Um, I just wanted to say, I feel like whenever I talk about stuff like this, it sounds like I'm trying to say that I'm like superior because I have never like smoked or done anything like that. Just no, that's not what I'm trying to say. I don't think that makes me like better than anyone because that's just not how it is but yeah i just really really don't care about okay this shut up i've said that multiple times but if you do do that i really don't care just be safe know your limits be safe around other people don't be stupid and that's it i don't smoke i it's just not for me i'm very scared of getting addicted and i know weed is not addictive but i mean addictive to the feeling of being high because you know, it's supposed to be a good experience. It's not for everyone and I know that. I do know a lot of people that smoke and it's really not a big deal. I just don't think it's something that I, I think it might be something I enjoy, just I might enjoy a little too much, if you know what I mean. I have a very addictive and obsessive personality that runs in my family, addiction runs in my family, so. Uh, yeah, something that I've been trying to stay away from. Someone said, do you have any experiences, big or small, with sexual assault, catcalling, etc.? Um, I, like literally everyone else in the world, have definitely had my fair share of cat calls. I do remember this one time, I don't think I have ever told this to people, but there was this one guy that I liked like over two years ago. So this was a while ago, but I really liked him and he kept trying to like stick my hand in his pants and I was like, no and he kept trying to stick his hand in mine and i was like literally being like no stop no stop and like literally like shoving him away and he like wasn't stopping and it was very weird obviously i nothing happened because i was not gonna let anything happen that i wasn't comfortable with but yeah that was i guess that's kind of like the farthest thing is that someone was just not taking no for an answer and honestly it was very scary but nothing that's like triggered me for life that's kind of the farthest i guess i don't think i've ever really told anyone that someone said why don't you wear underwear oh my jesus okay let me just say this i mentioned this in my video with ashley i had forgot to bring underwear when i was trying on some of her clothes that was 
not good on my part. If I could go back and change it, I would, but I can't actually, I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize to her multiple times. If you want me to personally pay for dry cleaning for your clothes, I will. So many people are like, ew, that's so unsanitary, which wearing other people's clothes, yes, I totally understand. But it's just a social norm. Like why, it's literally just an extra layer of anything. If I'm like on my period or if I know I need to wear underwear, I will wear it. It's not that big of a deal. I don't know, it's not a big deal. Stop eating me alive for it, it's annoying. Someone said the history of your name, like how did your parents decide it? That's an interesting one. I was just telling Ava, Ava Jules was at my house the other day. So Utah culture, if you wanted to know, is taking a normal name and spelling it as weird as you possibly can. I can't really think of any examples, but it's a thing. Ask anyone that lives in Utah and it's true. My mom originally wanted to spell my name, which is Avery, as A-Y-V-R-I. That is like the most Utah thing I've literally ever heard. I'm glad she didn't because no one would ever spell it right. People still spell my name wrong all the time and it's not that hard, but it's definitely not A-Y-V-R-I. Someone said, whatever happened between you and your ex? Timing was just not right. A lot of things just weren't right. Honesty was not always present and that's something that's important to me and I always mentioned that and then it just wasn't there so someone said why do you hate your younger self a lot okay so i recently have been looking through my old snapchat memories watching my old videos all that sort of stuff and just kind of having a little self-reflection time and i always say that like oh i hate my younger self whatever it's not that i hate her it's that i feel bad for her people stepped on her she was not confident obviously i'm talking about myself i don't know why i'm talking about myself in third person i just wish i handled things a lot different like when people were rude to me or when people told me not to do or to do certain things i wish i was more confident back then i wish i stuck up for myself i wish i believed in myself i wish i just did a lot of things different and i've obviously learned from that now and i can't be super mad because i am a lot happier with who i am today even though i still struggle with a lot of things for all my 12 13 14 15 year old friends out there please do not let people step on you walk all over you don't let older people manipulate you tell you what to do tell you what to wear it's not worth it to confine to what other people want for you you just have to do your own thing and that's something that I've learned and I still have People telling me, oh, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that, and you just have to do what you want. Um, I read, who said it? Someone said, I can't remember. Um, I read somewhere, I think it was one of my friends that said, you cannot please, oh, I think it was Ava. You can't please everyone, so you might as well just please yourself, and I think that's very true. How did you realize you had depression? Um, when I wanted to literally not exist anymore, I thought maybe something is wrong, and something was wrong. So when you feel like that, reach out, get help. That really... I had many talks with my mom, but there was this one final talk that was like, I need help, I am not doing good, and she got me help, and ever since then, my life has been changed. Someone said, do you love yourself? Now? Yes. I'm great. I have a lot of things I can work on that I'm still working on, like eating healthy and setting better habits. I still have things I'm working on, but I've come a very long way with self-love and self-appreciation and confidence and all that stuff so there's a lot of things you can do to work on it you just have to put the time in to actually work on it so someone said why are your presets so expensive so my presets are 30 for three i feel like everyone i know that i have like seen put out presets are usually 10 for one or even more um but i do do discount codes all the time i'll do a deal right now i'll do 20. you just have to use the code nintendo i've been playing a lot of zelda use code nintendo at checkout for ten dollars off i'll leave the link down below in the code as well so there you go <laughs> Someone said, have you ever had a girlfriend? No, I have not, but I have definitely had my fair share of girl crushes and girl kisses, I guess. Someone said, have you ever tried any drug or substance before? No, I literally have not. I think the closest thing I've ever done to a drug is like Advil or like melatonin. I really, like I said, this is like very personal for me to say because like I said, addiction runs in my family. I've seen it ruin a lot of people's lives. Um, I am very, very scared of getting addicted to things. I've gotten addicted to even like foods before, like people, like other YouTubers, like, I don't know. So I know if I can easily get addicted to literally anything, a drug or a substance that is addictive, yeah. <laughs> Why do you get annoyed when people tell you you look like a stoner? I don't get annoyed. I don't get annoyed, I just think it's funny. The other day I met up with someone I haven't seen in a very long time and they were very not with it, very drunk. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying not to say it. They were very drunk. She very much kept telling me that she thought that I like smoked and she doesn't keep up with any of my stuff. And I was like, 
No, I don't, but it's just funny. I don't get annoyed, I just think it's funny. Someone said, what was it? What has it been like growing up with Aspen as your sister? If you don't know, I have a sister that's also a YouTuber, Aspen Ovard. We make very different content, which is totally fine. But one thing that I'm very proud of, I think I've done a really good job of setting myself apart from her. Not that I like, oh, don't want to be associated with her because that's just dumb and she's very, very successful and hardworking. So I'm obviously very proud of her. We are also very, very different and you can ask anyone that knows both of us. We just literally could not be polar opposites sometimes. Like I said, I think I've done a really good job of setting myself apart from her because I do not want to be known as Aspen's little sister or anything like that. I want to be known as my own person. And I have people commenting or damning me all the time being like, I didn't even know you had a sister. I didn't know Aspen was your sister. I just put it together. I honestly think the only thing that puts us together is that we have the same last name and that's about it. I love my sister, but like I said, we are just very different and we literally always have been. She's definitely a big part of why I do what I do. Obviously, I would not have started YouTube if she did not start a channel first. So yeah, she's definitely inspired me to do a lot of things and also inspired me to work hard and use all of my time and all of my potential because that's something that she is very good at that I have is envied the right word possibly that I've envied because I also want to be really good with time management so yeah I think I'm gonna end this video I hope you guys enjoyed it sorry I just feel very like chill right now so I feel like that's how I'm coming across because that's how I feel and you can't always be super crazy and quirky on camera I hope you enjoyed thanks for watching hope you got to know me a little bit more <laughs> That sounds so stupid. Yeah, I curled my hair for this video. I hope you like it. I haven't curled my hair in a really long time. Anyways, I'm sweating. I'm gonna change out of the stress. Also, my boobs are literally gonna pop out. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace out. I'm gonna go edit this and also play some Zelda because I've been on my Zelda grind. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> oh, we're living in the present. Mm -hmm. But our mind is in the past. past.